Welcome back to Websites for Beginners with me, JP, and we are busy with this crash course for helping you get your website up and running. And as we said, now we're going to start building from scratch so that you can get into the builder and know how you can create your own website. Let's have a quick look at the website that we will be creating. This is a coffee shop, one pager. And the reason I'm doing a coffee shop is because it's one of the first ever projects that I did. So I always for sentimental reasons, go back to coffee shop and, you know, just do that. We have a five block, five section coffee shop page that we're going to create. And each of them we're going to create from scratch so that you really can get the feel for how the builder works. Let's have a quick look at that. The first section block at the top is what we call a hero section. This is very common on websites. You see this all the time. A hero section is this big little block at the top with a nice image and some big bold text. The idea is that any visitor to your site should immediately know what your site, your product, your service is about when they see this. If not, you've failed and people may move on. They don't really get the feeling for what your website is about. And this is what we're going to be creating. I'll talk about the images that I'll share with you very soon. Below this uh, and about a little bit more about the shop. And this is also a very standard kind of block that you get an about us kind of block. And then we have a gallery section with three images, very important images for your site. A site with just text is baba boring. Then we have the oh so ever popular testimonial section. Is it ever real testimonials? I hope they are. But what we have in Brizzy is called a block slider. So you can see that the entire block slides and give you another block. This is pretty awesome because you don't get this kind of functionality in free versions on the market. So getting this in the free Brizzy builder, wow, wow. And then below that, very important, which is a contact form area. Again, a feature from Brizzy that blows the socks off the other free builders on the market is that it gives you a free form builder. Now, this form builder where people can put their name, email and send you a message is really important. I think most websites should have that, especially if you are selling a service or you want people to reach out to you so that you can communicate with them. This is what you're going to need. Five sections. That's all future tutorials and other tutorials here on the channel already boasts a lot of what you can do more. The reason why there's always new tutorials is because WordPress, Brizzy, Bloxy, all of them are adding new stuff all the day. Things are changing all the time. New tutorials have to come up to update the old stuff. And that's why all of this, the blogging part, the e-commerce part, the learning management system part, which is online e-learning, will update that all in the coming months. Apart from this looking good on a desktop display, it's also very important that this looks good on a mobile display. And this is something that many newcomers to the world of website creation is confused about. Wait, there's something else going on here. A lot of, I will say traditional, but even new people designing websites spend so much time on making this perfect desktop block and they have animations and all kinds of brilliant little sparkly things happening. And then when they view it on a mobile, it's like, eh, this doesn't work. Mobiles is basically very dumbed down versions. It has to interact very quickly. So as I scroll through this presentation on the mobile version, you can see it looks very different where things used to be next to each other. They are now stacked on top of each other. And that's a very standard feature in mobile. You can see here how we already have a slight space problem here with the testimonial sections. It still works, but that is what happens with mobile. So don't spend all your time on creating this amazing interactive strains with all kinds of animation and effects for your desktop. It will not work on your mobile. Rather focus on something minimalistic, which is what I usually convey. And you will also see that I don't use a lot of animation. Some websites are like a circus. When you go on there, things just come flying in at you all the time. I want to say very amateurish, but I don't want to step on anyone's feet here, but try and avoid that because it has absolutely no impact if everything on the page just comes flying to you at all time. Let's talk about the images. In the description below, there is a link. Click on the link and you can download the images I've used here. To keep it fair, I want to go to freepick.com because I got it from there. You can get it from there. 
what you do is you go to it and you can search, let's say, a coffee mug, and they have a free version and a premium version. If you don't want to use their premium version, by all means, you go to free. And all the images that you will be downloading from the link that I've put in the description below are free once. So you will not get in any trouble. But I really want to give them a shout out, my opinion, for the price that these guys charge. You can't get better on the internet, period, for the price. And they've just added videos recently. So if you're looking for stock videos as well, wowee. Now, this is a free image. You click on it and you download it. And this is where the trouble starts. When, once you've downloaded this image, they easily run 20 megabytes to 40 megabytes. You don't want this image over 200, 300 kilobytes on your website. I am working on bringing tutorials specifically for people who just work by themselves on how you should work with images. I think that catches a lot of people off guard when they start making the first website is how complicated images can get. I just get the image and I post it. You run into two kinds of problem with images. Either the image is too big or the image is so small, you know, somebody forwarded to you via WhatsApp. And what WhatsApp actually does is the moment you send an image, it actually downsizes the image. Now you get this little image that you need to put on the website to make it look good. How can you do that? Yes, there are tools for that. We're not going to cover it. And that's why I've decided that the images we will use, all of these guys, let's just go back here. Almost done. I just want to show you very soon how to download the images. And below that, we have this spoon with the coffee and the ground coffee. And then we have these three images as well as these three testimonials, people who give testimonials. And then we have one more background here. There's one more that I'm going to give you, and that is the favicon. Up there, you see that little bean in a white little circle. That is that little logo that you usually see in the top of the tab of your browser, like Chrome or Edge. That's the one, favicon. We'll talk about that. Great, banana. So what happens? Once you click on the link, it will download automatically for you the creatives. I refer to them as creatives. It's stuff that you will be using. It's about 1.25 megabytes, not big for all of them. I've downloaded the zip file, open them, and then you should know, just drag this folder and drag it to wherever you need it. You're going to use it. I drag it into downloads. And from here, you will see the images appear all in my Explorer or your Finder. You can make it bigger if you want to see it. Now, what you need to do next, let's go into WordPress. So we worked last. This was the front end. I'm going to close it. Then we go back to Brizzy. How to exit from Brizzy into WordPress. Go here to the bottom and click on more and then click on go to dashboard. If you get a pop up that says any unsaved, make sure that you save first before you edit. From here, we go to the WordPress, click in the top left hand corner. And then we select media. You can just click on media within the navigation sidebar. Here are six images. And these are the six images that we have worked with so far. Every time you bring in an image or every time you work with a pre-made block, those images are automatically loaded into your media library. Now, you don't only need to bring in images. You can bring in video. You can bring in documents, Word, PDF. And you can also bring in zip files. What we want to do is bring in all of those images that you've just downloaded and add them here. To do that, just select here at the top, Add New. Drop files to upload or select files. And if you can drop it and your folder is already open, why make your life difficult? Let's do that. We select everything and click Hold and Drag and drop just 10 images. Awesome. And it will go through the little progress bars. Once that is done, all your images are in the media library. Splendid. There they are. Now we can start using them. Let's go back into Brizzy, select Pages. And you will see here where we have created my first try. There is a quick edit link. Quick edit link, yes. And it says Edit with Brizzy. Instead then of clicking on my first try and then going into the WordPress editor and then selecting edit with Brizzy, we simply select edit with Brizzy from here in the quick link. 
And this brings us back here onto the page that we've been. And now we have brought in the images. I've explained a little bit about images. I've shown you the website that we will be creating. Let's start with that hero section.